Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Amrit Amo Photography. My name is Amrit and I'm a trained and certified newborn baby photographer based in Mumbai. Today's video is going to be a tutorial vlog about newborn baby wrapping that I'm going to share with you all. And uh, this vlog is a part of our newborn photography workshop that happens in my studio. And I will be teaching my student live and also will be sharing the highlights of the same with you all so that I can share the tips and tricks about the baby wrapping with all of you. You're also going to see a little bit of snippets on how we do the wrapping on the dummy baby as well as on the newborn baby in live scenario in our studio. So today's video is going to be very insightful, especially if you are starting out as a newborn photographer and you would like to learn some tips and tricks about newborn photography baby wrapping. And without any further delay, let's get started. And also, if you would like to learn from me in person in our studio, then don't forget to check out the information provided in the description. And also, don't forget to watch the video till the end. So let's get started without any further delay. Okay, so first thing that you will leave little like 10% of the wrap over here on this side and the remaining will be that side. Okay, and then you will drag this wrap under the baby. Also another thing, thing you can try to remove your jewelry. Sometimes I will remove, sometimes I keep it on. So it depends, just that it should not hurt the baby. So you will just secure the baby's arms like this near to the baby's face. Depends on where the baby is comfortable to keep the baby's arms. Okay. So you keep the baby's arm secure and then you take this portion and you're going to put it on the other side. Put it beneath the baby on the other side. Okay. Secure it nicely. And once you have secured it nicely, you're going to take this portion. Yeah, the hands are fine. Yes, hands, uh, you will try to keep it in this position. However, the baby will keep moving and it will just see. So now once it's done, then you take it from this side and this will help to secure the hands properly in one place and then you are going to take it under the baby like this and you are going to take this portion here now i am going to secure the baby's legs so legs will be folded up most of the times depends if the baby is comfortable like this if the baby is not comfortable we will be going as per baby's flow right so mostly we are going to have the baby's legs placed like this and we are going to have the baby uh, wrapping done like this so these hands should be outside or inside yes outside you will try to keep them outside if they are not able to be outside you will try to keep it inside so there's no hard and fast rule but if you ask me it should be outside because it's always better to see the baby's hand outside so then uh, you are going to have this here so you you are going to take it up like this from one side you have taken now you will do it again so that it is tied up perfectly keep it here and this particular portion will usually go be beneath the baby whenever you are posing the baby or it can get tied up like you know you can also keep it under one layer of the baby like this so when you keep it under the layer it will help to secure it it's called the womb pose usually i will try to take the same color family um, or else i can take different colors also it depends on what setup i am doing what setup i am creating now for this crisscross wrap i would usually want to take um, half portion of the wrap this side and half portion of the wrap this side so um, you have taken this portion and you have caught it here like this okay on one side and then you can take it from this side and you can take it from here to this side okay so then from this portion it will go from down it will go up now again from here down it will go up 
okay the baby's hands are there you can adjust right and uh, in criss cross now this portion which remains you can do anything from this either you can create a knot from this or you can do it like this how i will be uh, setting it will be different how you will be setting it will be different so here also the last portion that is remaining you are going to uh, check it out how you are going to do it okay i will just tie the baby here there are different variations that you can do from this wrap i will show you that like here i have just tied it up here and you can make a knot here like this again now for potato sack posing we will be doing the criss cross mostly this is the thick wrap that i'm taking and this is here like this and this is here right so this is criss cross and now i will try and knot it here this will go beneath the baby when you are putting the baby you know over there so i hope you gathered a lot of information tips and tricks about newborn baby photography wrapping and in our studio the advantage that my student gets is that they practice in front of me so they can get all their techniques of wrapping right in my studio under my guidance and uh, now i'm going to welcome a newborn baby model in our studio and i'm going to do the wrapping on the baby and show the same wrapping workflow that we did on the dummy baby so there is going to be a lot of correlation and there is going to be a lot of knowledge gathering how it happens in a real scenario with a newborn baby in studio so let's get started i am very excited to show you how it looks like when we welcome the newborn baby in studio so you are going to see behind the scenes of those wrapping techniques as well
So this was about today's tutorial vlog about newborn baby wrapping and I hope you gathered a lot of information, tips and tricks from today's video. If you would like to attend my workshop then don't forget to check out the information provided in the description box or you can email me for more information to join our next workshop. And yes, that's it about today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching and let me know in the comments which was your favorite part. Also, let me know if you have any questions or queries in the comments box down below. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys next time with many more such videos. Till then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time very soon. Till then, bye-bye, see you and take care.